Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing an update on the RV garage conversion to a studio. Alright, so we're at the RV garage conversion to a studio and you can see we're finishing up the drywall. And we have all the three layers uh, floating on the drywall throughout the whole place. Here is the Volca room, which is still under construction. We're still dealing with a fire spigot issue that's in that room. Uh, now we're at the drum room. You can see we have air conditioning vents in. We have the lighting area. That's a CCTV outlet. We have a panel, electrical panel. Now we are in the live room slash theater room and you can see all the cables hanging which is going to be for the Atmos speakers. Lots of cabling coming out of the walls in different areas that it needs to be. This is all our windows sitting on the ground. We've got a CCTV up there and again another Atmos room which is the control room, air conditioning vents, and uh, all our extra windows and doors. And uh, pretty soon we're going to have the drywall finished and then we're going to get these windows and doors installed and then everything painted. So for the most part everything's going pretty well. I will say that uh, they didn't cover up stuff as much as they should have <laughs> to keep the dust out as far as I'm concerned. Uh, something that I wouldn't have let happen if I was there on a daily basis, which I'm not. It's not what I'm hired to do. Um, but I want to show you some of these different things that we have. So first thing is you can see the tri layers of gypsum, vinyl barrier and gypsum or drywall, if you will. Uh, you could also see the RC8 channel that's in between the stud and the drywall, which makes that wall float off the, uh, off the studs that makes a huge difference in getting some isolation. The other thing I wanted to show you was the insulation inside the ducts. Now this one's not fully insulated, but it has some of the insulation in it. And you can see on the side, there's a good, I don't know what it is, about three quarters of an inch. Uh, another on the top there. So you have insulation in the ducts that are eating up all the extra sound that's traveling through the ducts. Now, as I mentioned before in the last video, once you start putting all these vents in, all the Atmos speakers, the lighting, the screen that's coming down, the CCTV uh, outlets, the outlets for the audio jacks, the outlets for the uh, Ethernet, when you start adding all this stuff all over the place, you have no room for acoustics. And so now when you walk in this room that it's fully drywalled, you really start to see how small the space this is to begin with and that it's getting smaller as, as each day goes by, right? It starts collapsing in. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge uh, for the owner to find spots to actually uh, get all the acoustics in there that it needs to be. And honestly, the smaller the room gets, the more acoustics you need because um, those resonant frequencies get higher in the room, the smaller that room gets. So this is a challenging build, like I've mentioned before. Um, it keeps morphing, which again, is not the way I do things, but uh, it's going okay. The drywaller is doing a good job and uh, there's definitely some corrections where there's some cables coming out where they shouldn't be and uh, they're going to have to fix that. Unfortunately, that's something that could have been fixed when they were putting the insulation in and why that was not uh, verified. I have no idea, but it is what it is and uh, we'll fix it the way it needs to be fixed. So this is just a little short update. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have more updates of this particular install at this point. But if there is something worthy of showing you, I'll definitely uh, show you in the future. And I have a few other installs that I'll be featuring on the channel. And in the meantime, I have something a little special for you that's a rarity to see in real life. 
we found a Gila monster as we were driving away from this install. And I have been in the desert my whole life, and I've only seen three total. Two, I think, was the same one on different days in the same area. And this is the third one I've ever seen in the, in the real world. And uh, just a delight to see these things. Uh, I believe they're protected. You're not allowed to kill them. They're one of these animals that if they latch onto you, they will not let go. So you have to use rubbing alcohol to actually release them because uh, they can't breathe. So they finally release. So you don't have to kill them. You just use alcohol or rubbing alcohol. So in any case, uh, have a great day. See you in the next episode. Building on top of the first course, the Studio Edge Pro audio recording series called Studio Concepts, Gear, and the Physics of Sound, Jim Pivette's next course, Planning a Studio, demystifies the planning process and teaches you how to get your studio designed and built. You see how to define your goals, plan your budget, and zero in on your musical philosophy so that your new studio will be in sync with your vision. It will also teach you about acoustics, including absorption, diffusion, NRC ratings, and room modes. Once you have these in place, the Constructing and Fine-Tuning Your Studio course teaches you how to construct your studio, including floating floors, walls, and ceilings, and how to balance your acoustic treatment to get proper sounding rooms. Power, grounding, and HVAC systems are also discussed. A guest appearance from renowned acoustician Gavin Haverstick discusses the final results of a control room tuning and why having your rooms tuned is important. In the case study Home Studio Edition course, you get to join Jim Pavette as he consults with the owner and the construction team as they all work together to build a Home Studio Edition. Real interviews and consulting with the contractor and owner bring all the theory to life and reveal some trials and tribulations of building a studio. This five-star rated three-pack course is a necessity to having a properly built studio. Get it now at thestudioedge.com.